Hello and welcome to another BMC Helix Remedy Force video on how to read the Data Integrity Report. Log into your Remedy Force as an admin, go to Reports, and then we need to access the Remedy Force Configuration Data Integrity Report. Now, this report is going to be organized by scan IDs, so we need to make sure to focus on the current reports. First thing we need to check is the impacted module. So here we can see we have two templates and one request definition. We're going to check one by one. For example, on this first error, we can see the name of the impacted record, the testing desk. We see that the category is inactive or not found, and we can even see the specific missing field value, which is the test category. Now, let's go and fix this by going to Remedy Force Administration. I'm opening this on another tab so I can go back and forth. We need to go now to Templates. And we're going to look for the affected template, which is the testing task. We can access to it. And we can go back to verify which is the missing field value, the test category. So now we just go to the template and click the drop down to update the value. We're going to select any existing value and click update. And now remember to save the template. Click OK, and now we're going to go for the second error, which is also on the template, and the name is the Dropbox test. The missing value is Testing Laptop 2. So we need to go back to the template module to fix this error, but now let's look for the template Dropbox test. Access the affected template, and we're going to remove that missing value, which was the Test Laptop 2. In this case, we're going to remove it instead of just update it, and remember to save the template. Now let's go back to the report and move to the last error, which is on the request definition module. So this is going to be a bit different. We need to go to the request definition module and look for the affected record, the test configuration set. We're going to access to it, and we can go back to the report to verify the error. In this case, is referring to a value missing or not found in the vase element object. So here's a little trick, which doesn't work always, but we're going to grab the missing field ID and we're going to put it on a new tab. Copy the ID, paste it on a new tab, and this will show the affected or missing record. As we see, this is from the base element and it's a business service class, so that gives us more of an idea. Let's go back to the request definition and locate the missing value. Here we can see that this matched the test configuration set service, so we're going to remove it and replace it for an existing one. As the service offering depends also on the service, we also need to replace this value and click Save. Finally, we need to restart the utility services, so let's go to General Application Settings, click Stop, save it, and now start and save it one more time. This is just to restart the report and reflect the changes made. Finally, let's go back to the report and refresh it. Now, remember that this might take a few minutes, but as you can see, there are no longer results. This concludes the video on how to read the data integrity report. Thank you for watching.